It's a time-honored thing to put your name on your artistic productions. Writers have their name on the book. Painters write their name in the corner. Why couldn't video game designers have their name in their games? This is a story about one man who took on a giant tech company and changed the gaming world in the process. My name is Warren Robinette. I'm the creator of Adventure, the first action adventure game. This was a video game that I wrote working for Atari in uh, the late 70s. They treated us badly in several different ways. No royalties, no name on the box, no external recognition, being told that we were easily replaceable. They disrespected us. So Warren hatched the perfect plan. What I did was I hid my name in the game, in a secret room that was really hard to get to. When you got in there, the screen filled up with a flashing movie marquee that said, created by Warren Robinette. Atari shipped out 200,000 copies of Adventure before anyone discovered Warren's secret room. How did they find out about that? A 15-year-old boy in Salt Lake City wrote a letter to Atari, and he very clearly explained how to get into the secret room. And Warren wasn't worried at all about repercussions. What are they going to do? Take away my royalty? Well, they weren't giving us any royalties. Fire me? It so happened that I'd already quit. But to Warren's surprise, his act of rebellion was well received by Atari's new lead game designer, Steve Wright. He's musing to himself about this situation and he said, it was kind of cool to have hidden surprises in video games. It's like waking up on Easter morning and going out and finding colored Easter eggs under the bushes and flowers. Everything ended all right for Warren Robinette. You can't say the same for Atari. Atari actually collapsed in one year, it imploded. Personally, I think there's some poetic justice there that the big, powerful, rich, New York, pushy guys could not defeat the one little 26-year-old programmer who just had a sneaky idea and pulled it off without telling anybody. <laughs>